Hey Fuerte friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Trisha Fuerte and this is Fuerte Body and this is our 25th Fuerte Body break and we're switching things up and now we're always going to get started with our daily affirmation. And daily affirmation. It's on a green paper today. Very exciting. Today's affirmation is I do not need to monetize my hobbies. Spending time doing something I love is enough for me. And that is by Femis Lay, another anti-capitalist affirmation. Um, you can follow at Femis Lay on Instagram. For you, you do not need to monetize your hobbies. Spending time doing something you love is enough for you, for us. We do not need to monetize our hobbies. Spending time doing something we love is enough for us. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. That is such a good one. You also don't need to be the best at things to enjoy them. I, even when I started dance and I was not good at it, I had so much fun. Um, and I think of like kids when they're still learning a sport and like they're not good, but it's just like so much fun for them to like chase a ball around or something. Um, that's real. That's where life happens. So yeah, we don't need to monetize our hobbies and we don't need to be good at them. That's, that's really truly something special when we remember that. So I hope, um... You write this one down. I love this one. Um, okay, hi. You may have noticed I was, or probably haven't, noticed that I was gone for 10 days. We ha I had a staycation with my sibling, and then uh, I decided not to take a laptop or anything like that. And then afterwards, I, I got like a really bad stomach flu, pretty sure um it was like an evil dead scene in my bathroom for two days and it, it gosh it hurt so bad that i think that was the first time i was yakking up in this bathroom yay memories living in nyc <laughs> and own nyc apartment <laughs> first time yakking my brains out um all alone that's scary I had to self-soothe in a situation like that oh gosh it hurts so bad but then yeah the days to follow that whole week oh could oh, no appetite so nauseous and then since the temperature dropped to like 30 degrees i was also like sniffly coughing headache and I, so i was scared i was like oh my god do i have covid and so i kept testing been testing negative they said uh, the, the last time i did a little home kit test said like test 48 hours later so that was today tested negative again and i have my appetite back so feeling 100 again um which if you're watching this for the first time that this is what where to body breaks are they're a moment for me to check in with my body remind y'all to check in with your body they are unedited unfiltered they are raw files raw feelings straight from the heart straight to the phone straight to youtube even if my voice shakes even if i'm afraid even if it's not perfect so thank you so much for tuning in my 1051 for your friends <laughs> uh thank you thank you so much so grateful for all of you we also drink water every time we do a four to body break so go grab your water go get it go get your water go get your water <sighs> cheers mm. have a little liquid ivy in mine yum um did you drink your water? Did you drink it? Good. And don't forget to wash your water bottles frequently. Um, today, 
um, was supposed to be seeing the Renaissance film for the second time and yesterday I was supposed to be seeing it for the first time but I made the decision to not see the movie um, regardless of my stomach issues um I even if I was in my tip-top health I would have not seen it I decided not to see it unfortunately the renaissance film um is has has Beyonce released the renaissance film in Israel during an ongoing genocide that Israel and the U.S. are committing um very disappointing I'm very disappointed in Beyonce I that tour was is still very special to me um but I really it's, it's just I could not in good conscience go um and AMC slash Parkwood made it really hard <laughs> to um not just get a refund but i asked about getting a voucher changing it to another movie to another day you a movie on another another movie on another day you name it they were like nah so i called my credit card um this nice woman on the phone um was able to help me out to dispute it hopefully i get that money back in a couple weeks um because the if we were seeing it yesterday we were gonna see it in imax for me and my sibling that's like 60 something dollars and then today just in a regular screening for both of us that's like 40 something dollars because so that's a lot of money that is mine and i did not want to go anywhere that was knowingly also getting their bag in a place that's committing an ongoing genocide. Fiance, you don't need that bag. You don't need that bag from Israel. <sighs> yeah, so, uh, but I slept like a baby knowing that I wasn't seeing this movie that is also playing in Israel. So, there you go. If you also made the decision to not see the Renaissance film because it is released in Israel, I see you. It's it sucked that we had to, but we made the right decision. We absolutely made the right decision. And I think I'm going to make um a larger video about this about being careful standing artists um because I have so so many examples from my life where really like just grieving letting go of a fandom hello i got my harry potter tattoo cover because of jk rowling being a turf uh, so there are so many uh personal stories that i want to share in regards to letting go of artists that are not aligned with our values but just know and i wanted to come on here and say that who we are and our values will always be more important than that little moment on this earth that their songs, movies, TV shows, etc., clothes, you name it, made us feel um, just a glimpse of temper really temporary replaceable enjoyment and I also really promise you that there are so many artists so many other artists out there that will align with our values and make better art honestly <sighs> on that note free Palestine uh, we are still out here get out there in the street there are a lot of emergency rallies happening rain or shine get out there i know tomorrow the one i am going to go to is the one at the museum of natural history uh well that's at 2 p.m with within our lifetime palestine 
um follow them at wol palestine and keep calling your representatives use the fall five calls app so easy uh send those faxes send those emails uh, keep educating yourselves, especially there's so much to learn and there's so much uh, everyone really does not know. Um, and especially with this this four day human humanitarian pause that just happened that um, Israel didn't even obey during those four days. Um what we need to be calling for is permanent ceasefire. Permanent ceasefire now, permanent ceasefire now. So please, please, please go to the description below, click multiple links to multiple actions in order to remain vigilant, remain publicly, unwaveringly supportive of the liberation of Palestine. Thank you. I will see you tomorrow, December 2nd. Oh my gosh, it is December. Um, stay warm and take care of yourselves. Thank you so much again for tuning in and checking in today. I did, I did miss it. I did miss y'all. Okay, thank you. Um... All my love, always and always, I'm Trisha Fuerte, and this is Fuerte Body.